Hey everyone, it's taken me a while to do this, but I want to introduce to everybody is a new playlist playlist that I'm going to create on this channel and it's going to be called A Diary of a Widow. It's going to be my journey as a widow starting with um, today's vlog is going to be how I found out and the that my husband was dead and the emotions that I went through when I found out who told me. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, there, I want there to be more awareness for young widows and what we go through, men and female alike, and that's basically it. So eventually I want to do some sort of documentary, which I've applied for. It's kind of in the working, but I wanted to, I figured I would just start with, with this. So today's vlog is the first one and I guess what I want to talk about is how I found out that my husband has passed had passed away so just real quick um, it was it was a weekend and it was actually my sister my sister-in-law was pregnant and my mom was throwing her a shower so that morning um, we had gotten away, we had gotten up in the morning and my cousin was over because I had told my mom that we would prepare all the favors for people. So my husband helped, we did these like, we did these fancy muffin things or cupcakes, cupcakes. And he helped me and my cousin was there to um, put all the cupcakes together and he went out to get the balloons. So we had a busy morning. He dropped me off, my cousin and I, and all the balloons, everything, dropped it off at my mom's. We were at the shower, and then the baby shower. The baby shower ended, and then we came back to my place, and he was out all day. He was out with his friends. And um, it was my cousin's birthday that day as well, so all the girls were coming over to my place after the shower. So everybody was over at my place, and um, from my place, we were just going to head out for, I don't know if we went for dinner, we went out dancing. I think it was, maybe it was just dancing and we ate at my house. I think that's what it was. And my husband came home. He came home to change his shirt. So he was upstairs in the room and the girls were getting ready. And he was kind of, it was just very quick. He, I saw him, he was wearing his pink striped shirt which he loved and he looked very handsome in. And he was going out as well. So I just, some of my friends joked around with him, he joked around with them, and I just kinda, you know, just giggled. And it was just a quick goodbye. So, then we went our separate ways, and um, I came home, went to bed, and it wasn't, I don't even know, I can't remember time, but I was woken up by my mom, who had just beat the police officer to my house, he was just about to knock on the door to tell me that my husband had passed away. And it was actually my mom that came up to my room because she had a key to my place. And she woke me up and she was standing there and I was really confused and my cousin had stayed over. So my cousin was already there and I guess they had, she knew obviously. So. My mom woke me up and she just started talking and I think somewhere in her conversation she told me that my husband was dead and I didn't I couldn't understand her and I remember just jumping out of bed and being like all right we need to go to him we need, I need to be with him. I need to, I need to see him. For some reason, I couldn't process that he was dead, that he was not breathing, he was not alive, he was not in the hospital. I thought, I thought I needed to get to him in the hospital. And she just kept saying, he's, he's not gonna be there, he's not there. I don't know how long it took me to understand and then I just remember just feeling numb. 
I wanted to listen to prayer, then I didn't li want to listen to prayer. And I remember throwing my keys at the radio because I guess I had told them to put prayer on and they did. And then I, it was too much. It was like here. And I remember I, I threw some, I must have thrown my keys at it because I was still ready to go see him. And then my brother turned it off. And I don't remember the rest. I don't remember, I don't remember what happened after that. I'm not sure. We were, we, we, we were separated for a while. So he was now living with me. But we did end up going back to his, our house. It was our home, but I had left. We ended up going there, and I can't remember if that's where his family was. I don't remember the first time I saw his brother or sister or anything. I can't remember any of that. But that was how, that was how I found out, and it was complete shock. I think I was in shock for years, but it was just disbelief, not, I still wanted to go, like I need to go see him, I need to go see him. That's what I remember, nobody was taking me, but I think it was just that I didn't, I couldn't register that he was no longer. So this is me, again, making myself vulnerable, putting myself out there, but I'm doing it because in the last, uh, three months I've had a couple of young widows um, just talk to me and contact me and I feel like there is a need for people to understand what it's like when you're in your late 20s to even 40 um, and you experience the death of a loved one so I'm gonna continue these uh, in the playlist and if they help anybody, that's what they're for. Because we all have very similar experiences. And the more I talk to younger widows, the more I'm realizing that we went through the same thing. Our initial reasons were the same. Thank you.